think I'm in the solution. Maybe not should I do it. Just put it in the music. Just put it in the music. Someone put me out cause I'm on fire. I can't give a about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drift, can't catch my way. You'll burn out. It's a pretty frigid December day in our nation's capital. We got our space heaters on full blast up in the booth at FedEx Field. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with the Carolina Panthers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. At their own 27-yard line. Second down. The pickup. It's second and eight at the 29 yard line. Sets up to throw it. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Chase Young in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Third down. Third and long. They 
go play action with Jackson. Flush to his right. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Joey Sly lining up for Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position, to be in the right spot, as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Takes over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Dante Jackson. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing his hurts, and he'll complete this to Gibson. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Four yards on the pick. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield.
The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Got an open man, finds Gibson. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Five-yard line. Okay. It's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Play clock down at three, and we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second down, here's Hurts. This is brought in by Gibson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down, Gibson. The Etor Gross Matos there to bring him down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up here in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And they'll run the option here with Hertz. He gives it up. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Panthers seven, Washington nothing. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Dustin Hopkins for the Washington field goal. A 54-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake them? Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. 
picked off by Obi Malafonwu. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson, and only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. He was no doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down now, it's Gibson. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now, those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. What you call a rookie mistake. After the interception, here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four. up to about the 47-yard line. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Third and two, here's Jackson. Completes it to Samuel. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Davis. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Six-yard line. From the 36, Jackson to the right side, and he's got more complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Carolina. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, 
But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. They'll try and run for it with Davis. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Jonathan Allen has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Here's Davis. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And three yards on the carry there as this defense holds strong and takes it to fourth and goal. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. Out there set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense and you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute the way things have gone they need to try to make something happen offensively but maybe they should maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said they haven't made anything happen offensively getting ready to go into the half give them a chance to take a deep breath exhale a little bit and start over I don't know if this is the time to push it myself yeah right now under 100 yards of total offense Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. But now Washington gonna go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. At the 42-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. 
And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Brings up second and seven. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Check 26, check 26. From the gun, it's Jackson. Buying time to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. Panthers. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Jackson. Steps away to his left. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Seven yards, the pick up there. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Three yards remain for second down. Jackson from the shotgun. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. The there he goes, left side. Touchdown, Carolina. Complete. DJ Moore, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream, one you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. That pass play wound up for negative yardage so here's second and 11. Here's Hurts to throw. 
and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Gibson. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off near the 42. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Joey Sly lining up for the point after. So that is two pick sixes he's thrown in this football game. Now you take those away, Charles, it's a completely different situation. It totally is, but guess what? They have to deal with what they have now. Okay, so they can't just mentally go, well, if we hadn't thrown those pick sixes, we'd be okay. Here's where you are. Here's where you're going to battle. But guess what? They're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go-around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. And now here is another interception. He's picked off at his own 47. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. From the 31, Jackson. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Panther, first down. And they run the option here on first and 10. Tackle made by Chase Young. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 22, 
Jackson. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. They'll set up the screen with Davis. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. They go back to the ground now with Davis. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. A 32-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Hurt sets up to throw it. Jackson's got it over the middle. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall... Looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got uh, it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He uh -huh. needs better protection, that's for sure. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Try it here. He's back to throw. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, a give to Davis. And he'll take this one down near the 15. 
And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want well to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Third down. On third down, Davis. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. And they take a knee. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? And they will take a knee here. one is over a victory for Carolina and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the second quarter do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game no I but what a second half the adjustment whatever they did in the locker room it certainly worked it certainly did and you're exactly right whether it was an adjustment whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in whether they just played better whatever it was it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Panthers, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want to redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14-1. and one. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints.